What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast as broadcasted earlier and told to you I will be doing the archer class today and as you can see we're here on the gear screen uh, I was told my uh, video on the mage was good but also it was missing a few things like um, like the skills and stuff I was going to do a separate video for that but the archer video I'm actually going to do uh, more efficiently and try to make that uh, a lot better for you guys uh, as well as a little bit less time consuming so I'll be talking kind of fast but I will be putting a lot of points up on uh, the board here using the annotations and notes so you can put that down as much as you, uh, you want to close it or, or you want to look at it you can pause it uh, as well so let's go ahead and get started with this now uh, first thing I wanted to do is tell you about the weapons that you should be using as an archer uh, and that's going to tie into a w as well as the skills uh, that you should be using so the first thing I want to show you guys quickly is uh, a, these kind of different bows that um, you should be using now um, this right here, um, Heart of the Dead Eye, is what you really want to be going for as far as your um, skills go. Um, you want to get three Heart of the Dead Eye, um, and that you can get those from these bows here, uh, these two different bows, uh, Sea Drake bow here, and uh, these uh, Fire Drake bows. Um, you can also get them from other bows, I believe, but um, these bows right here are, are the ones that I got on rolls, so I'm just showing you as. A demonstration uh, you want three different types of these bows uh, as you can see their cost is going to go to 24 as it is SSR now has two more levels and each level is five so it will be 24 um, let me show you real quickly um, that you have five slots obviously and three of those slots are, like I said are gonna be heart of the dead eye two of the slots will be fatal testament now fatal testament is a skill that increases the magic damage and regular damage of all skills uh, used when it procs so fatal testament being uh, that the uh, archer is a class that uses both magic attack and attack uh, will be very good coupled with the three of the heart of the dead eye um, the reason you would be using Heart of the Dead Eye is because um, let me show you what kind of uh, skills you should be using as the archer. I've talked to a lot of archers uh, personally. Um, they were saying, telling me things about the archer, and uh, I got uh, the gist of it. Uh, I talked to a bunch of different high levels, and uh, I came up with my own strategy that uh, came that that kind of mimicked some of their strategies and put it together. So, what I would go bottom line as hunter, you have to take these three essential skills okay first one is going to be hunt the second one is going to be high circle snipe and the third one is going to be lethal strikes these three skills are indispensable as a hunter uh, GVG um, and I believe even in uh, PvE but you should always have these three skills equipped these uh, high circle uh, snipe and lethal strikes um, let me just ch uh, tell you what they do damage one enemy with uh, for ability power 60 physical damage uh, three times and ability power magic damage 63 times so it's a total of six attack it does have a chance to miss however it is comboed with hunt and uh, the ability will actually go to 80 and um, yeah so you know the the ability is boosted by hunt and there's two abilities that are also these are both abilities that are boosted by hunt high circle snipe itself has uh, four attacks instead of six but it is still very good and it's Quite honestly, the, uh, one of the best burst damages in the game. If all six strikes hit you and they crit, it's pretty much game over for you. You're going to die. So um, uh, another thing to think about when that's happening to you is uh, every time you're getting hit by one of those strikes, it's uh, considered like a separate attack. So um, it doesn't like if you had a chance to miss, like all of them miss. Like some of them can miss, some of them hit. So you just gotta think of it like it's a really good burst attack and it also combos with hunt now the other thing I wanted to talk about really quick is um, the, the fourth skill that you should be using um, some hunters swear by world tree blessing however I don't think it is very good for GBG um, to be qu quite honest I wouldn't take world tree blessing at all if it was me and I was doing like a hunter DPS um, I would either take cheer which is the the uh, skill that comes with your care every character and um it basically uh, uh gives units engage to all of your allies it doesn't give you units engage yourself but uh you can either take one is cheer or the other one is actually in the lancer tree and it's called lethal 
uh, strike I think it's called or something like lethal uh, eagle eye sorry so it's called e eagle eye uh, and it gives you critical hit chance 30% for 60 seconds this is something that I would take if I was designated to do high damage to a crystal uh, burst DPS so say that you're in the lineup here and you're like say a first a starter um, be meaning that you're gonna start the game in uh, the guild battle in game uh, rather than be on the bench you should probably go for cheer because you can throw cheer up and everybody on your team gets cheer 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 spams it and then you got your unison up first uh, if you are somebody designated to kill the crystal definitely use eagle eye meaning that you'll have a hundred AP cost uh, when you go into the crystal to damage it you pop your eagle eye and then you just go straight ham on the crystal then you switch back out um, and let your starters finish off the unison uh, battle and battling the, the characters um, eagle eye also is very good if um, if you want to start it out and say um, you just have high enough damage and you and your designated cheer is for like everybody else has cheer but you're designated to DPS because you're the highest DPS on your team so um, that is kind of what I would go uh, and will be up on the uh, screen here so I don't have to repeat myself um, so you guys can look at that as, as much as you want and tell me what you think about those skills um, as far as the gearing goes for this um, I, I said in my previous video it really depends on what you're pulling but those are the optimized weapons in my uh, case um, again you can go into league and go into this area here and get this gun if you have the medals for it a lot of people don't have the medals for it only about I don't know the top 10 percent or whatever have the medals to be able to get this um, now and uh, a lot a lot more people will be able to get it um, after this next GVG but uh, this is definitely the best you um, you know bow I mean this gun but it's the best thing out there that you can get it's gonna um, increase the damage of all your skills and it's a really high uh, cost weapon meaning that it's going to be a uh, higher damage so that's the reason you would want to get that um, as far as helmets and armor goes uh, you want to oh by the way uh, before I um, stop out with um, the weapons to be a successful archer or a high damage high gear score archer you must must have five bows uh, this is because the reason uh, being is you they actually have skills that come in with the archer that uh, increase like um, you know not the point not that poison it's um, let's see here dress up da, 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 da. I'm should have done this earlier so I you can show you right away but it's here critical hit boost increases critical hit chance circle snipe high circle snipe and lethal strikes by 20% when a bow or gun is equipped in your main slot that yes but also um, bows and guns give you a really high magic attack and physical attack say um, the reason you can actually get, you have to have five bows is those magic attack and physical attack are increased really high on the bow um, in, compared to say if you had like a lance and then a staff in your two sub slots um, you have to have to have to have a bow in your main slot because of the skill that I showed you um, the high circle snipe and tw the 20% increased crit um, for those but you can counteract it with like say two lances and two bow uh, two stabs however it's the attack and magic attack is not going to be as high as if you were to have a full set of bows so that's the reason you kind of want to wait until you have the full set of bows another uh, incredibly um, important reason to have a full set of bows is like I said the fatal testament and the the um, high circle snipe uh, I think it's called the um, I just said it earlier the dead eye I believe so heart of the dead eye and the fatal testament so those are like indispensable things those skills that proc you have to have to have those if you want to be um, you know relevant in high level GVG so that being said, let's move on to the helms and armors now. Uh, helms and armors are a lot, like very similar between classes, and I'll be covering them through every class video. However, I will probably be saying almost the same thing every time. Um, well, I guess a little bit different, but but uh, usually you would like to have 
an equal amount of skill downs throughout your helm and armor. So like three physical damage downs, on uh, and then three magic damage downs. Um, uh, and every single armor piece you have right here should be like a reflect. So if you can get physical two physical da uh, damage reflects and two magic damage reflects, you can really really boost uh, your survivability in, in, in a PvP situation. Um, having a helmet like at 50, it's like honestly you you might want to just go all armors just because armors are the only ones uh, and I think this is pretty true this is true but I, I think armors are the only ones that can carry uh, the reflect skills. So if you have like five armors that can go reflect, um, then I would suggest not even putting anything into helmet, getting like one helmet up in there and then being able to just do the rest on armors. Um, however, I think um, it might be that like passively you get enough points to be, have it be at like 40 and then you just need to put like five or ten more into helmet to have two. So depending on what um, the end game you have at the end, you, you want to uh, kind of cater to what you're you're getting but if you have like a bunch of armors i would say just go more armors than helmets always like the rule of thumb is always go more armor than helmet in your cost and you can kind of see that in my gear score uh, allocation um like i said in my previous video um i did mess up a little bit on the helm allocation i put like nine points extra inside helmet that i would have put into monster uh, as you can see i have three urs there now i could have five urs uh, right now if I wanted to However, it's not realistic for me to have two Alice's in there uh, Because it would lower my defense and magic defense by quite a, a, a good amount um, It would be about you know 2,000 of each defense uh, But it would be swapping out for just to like 6,000 magic attack. However, it wouldn't be uh, Like great because I would also just have a bunch of attack there too so like I would probably be at like around 5k magic attack uh, but my magic defense and defense would suffer uh, to the point of you know like I would probably have you know magic defense 2300 and defense 2500 or 2007 no, yeah, 2500 or, or 2600 so um, I do like having a good amount of defense. Uh, it is pretty useful in GBG, and um, let's, I'll just leave it at that because it gives you that cushion for doing damage. If you have just all damage in glass cannon, you have to be pretty much a crystal burster, like you burst down the crystal always. Uh, and I don't like to be that to be that person. I like to be in like a starter and kill them, kind of like get the the guild battle rolling. So, um, as far as monsters go, I would definitely, um, if you are a ranger or archer, I would suggest you get as many Alice's as possible. Um, the reason being, if you are an archer and you have as many Alice's as possible, you have, say you have six Alice's, right? And the next gear slot comes out open, you can put that six Alice in. Also, um, having six Alice's, you would be completely useless for anything but cr crystal downing, but you will be incredibly useful for crystal downing. So, if you, you know, say are an archer and you're like, you know what, um, all I want to do is have my put like put my lethal strike up, use my hunt, and just spam the crystal all day. Honestly, that's a really good strategy, and you could do that. Um, one thing that is uh, would be like a really amazing strategy if you are say a hunter and you have five alices or six alices up you tell your team you're like a squishy squishy uh, archer this time and um, also you you uh, one tactic you want to do if you're doing that is you always want to hide your gear score uh, you equip as many defensive stuff as you can um, while you're out in the lobby and when people look at your character they're uh, in the guild battles so They'll be like oh dude don't target this guy because he's like incredibly high defense archer and he has no damage So they'll be like oh well like don't do that because you know he's so, he's all he is is defense So why why would I even uh, target him? then um, Once that is completed all your like a uh, ruse is completed and your little strategy is completed um, You would kill off four players from the enemy team 
have your team have their unison up already and you have your unison as well but you don't have honestly you yourself don't have to but you switch in for one of the players that's uh, currently on the team on your team remember you have five players up at this time they have one player up this time and you guys have your unison at least four of you guys have your unison you all pop your unison the unison being at least two valkyries which will give you your another plus eight stats um basic the basic gist of this uh unison that we're doing right here is to increase all your guys' stats to plus eight and put a shinatobi in there that is increasing your your uh crit to four okay uh the maximum increase of stats is plus eight uh you know it's like eight levels so it'll be like a little arrow going up and then like eight um for your attack and like magic attack magic defense defense right uh and then also the up plus for your crit stacks to five okay so that's like 50 percent so you want to keep keep those buffs up then once the buff um is done for the unison you kill that last guy and then you have that team that's fully buffed five um crit and eight all stats just burst the crystal down completely destroy it with those five alices that you have so just think about how much damage you can put out as uh, a paper, you know, um, defense archer with five Alice's equipped. That would be nasty, nasty, nasty. So, just uh, saying right now, like, people are like, oh man, I got like two Alice's, like, oh, that's all I need. Like, no. You should be able to go as far as you can with the archer damage wise because the arches a lot of the time are used for crystal burst dps because they're very very good at it um so that being said something i would actually use for uh for an archer for not just being like a crystal burster um i would say maybe two alices uh one shinatobi one of the uh what is it? Um, the sorry, <laughs> water Valkyrie, uh, and either one fire Valkyrie, or you can go into another water Valkyrie. Honestly, um, you want to be able to have high defense as well as the archer if you're going to be a starter and so that's straight up in there. And Shinatobi, um, he's like really good to be able to take off buffs and stuff um i'll put up a bunch of things here like for uh what kind of archer i would build like just theory crafting like it'll be like down here and up here and stuff like options of what builds would be really good for an archer um another one just off the top of my head would might might be like two alices one um nyx one uh, fire Valkyrie and then one um, water Valkyrie so the reason being Nyx has magic attack magic defense the fire Valkyrie will have magic or uh, regular physical attack and physical defense the two Alice's will um, also have magic attack and magic damage and then the one uh, the one water Valkyrie will have defense and magic defense so you're getting a rounded out amount of stats as well as a rounded am amount out amount of unisons like unison elements okay uh you're also getting the buffs that you desperately need as pretty much anything uh out there is the fire valkyrie buff and the water valkyrie buff they both give you like 40 percent stats for one guy so you only need two valkyries to do a full eight stat buff so I think that would be incredibly good as an archer um, you guys if you disagree or you do agree tell me in the comments below I think that's about it um, as far as the gear cost goes with archers uh, you want to keep like around this level honestly i think i did a decently good job about of a uh, gear allotment just because you can equip five ur weapons for sure you can equip two ur helms for sure and like i said i messed up a little bit on the helmet and then you can equip four ur armors 
and then like I said uh, take this nine points out and then put the nine plus three is twelve so twelve points back into this monster and then you can equip five UR monsters without um, worrying about it you know so you could fool around with it a little bit um, but like I said 12 yeah you can equip five UR monsters um, however you won't be able to equip like say five Alice's so um, you know fool around with it a little bit you can take a little bit out of the armor and just equip all 25 slot armor at uh, 25 cost armors instead or 26 cost armors instead and then put that back into the monster so you get 150 flat out because let's see 12 that would still be 46 so you would need four more so if you take out say these two armors here uh, put those at 25 you would you would have it then so um, you know 25 here 25 here 25 here and then 26 there you would have all the points everything here you could equip uh, UR armors oops you could equip UR armors uh, for UR armors and you could equip five Alice's so just think about that guys um, make sure that you have a good amount of defense if you're going to go into um, the the front lines and also just think about being an archer that's just designated to specifically kill the crystal um, the re the raw I mean like the way that you kind of know that you can do that is if your guild is already good enough to have that type of uh, flexibility so that say um, your guild is like so powerful that it's like you don't even need to really go in until the crystal is out um, if you're like one of the top tier players on your team you're not going to be able to be that you know paper thin archer or glass cannon archer but um, so you're gonna kind of have to a little bit boost your defense at least to 20k at least all right so I think that was pretty quick and uh, definitely uh, a lot more uh, well planned or thought out than my uh, mage one so I might redo the mage one or, or put um, it into a, like a more smaller video or whatever um, that but that'll be later since a lot of people are asking for new stuff I'll probably do the bishop next somebody was asking for the bishop uh, however if you guys put it in the comments below and a bunch of people say hey no don't do the bishop do this uh, Lancer or whatever um, soldier or something then I will do that for you guys because I'm doing this for you guys and that's um, my main focus so if you liked the video definitely give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video you can give me a thumbs down and also if you could check out my channel uh, I have a lot of other uh, new content that I push out every day and I will be coming back with more videos I appreciate you guys watching and I would appreciate a subscribe if you guys could as always thank you guys for watching and take it easy peace